What up crew? In this episode we're going to be vacuum forming some 3D printed objects to make chocolate molds. Let's check it out. Joe P. Kirchman here and this t-shirt segment is brought to you by the CocoaPod because we're going to be blending all sorts of cool technologies into one great flavor. Alright, let's get into it. First we have to have an object to form. So I'm going to 3D print some different models on the Zortrax M300. Next we're going to take our 3D printed mold from the Zortrax and put it into the MakeQ. These vacuum 4 machines can be a good friend to 3D printers. They basically have a hot plate on top where a piece of plastic is slowly melted and then a place underneath where a vacuum sucks the plastic around the mold. It takes about two minutes to heat up the plastic sheet and then once it's ready, you just slam it down and it vacuum forms around it. You can then turn off the heater, let it rest for a little bit, and then take out your form. What you're left with is a really good impression of the object that you're trying to multiply. I was actually surprised with how much detail it picked up in only just a couple seconds. Some benefits to these machines is that they can make a duplicate really quickly of an intricate part and are great to take the negative of an object to pour liquids into. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. You'll have to keep in mind that the object that you're forming has to be half dome shaped and it can't have any major holes in it. Otherwise, if the warm plastic wraps around some sort of tube, you won't be able to remove the mold again. A tool like this is great for making replicas of the same thing, or fun party items like personalized jello and ice cube trays for different events. It becomes pretty addicting, so I decided to do some other molds. You'll have to keep in mind that it can't do real sharp curves or extreme steep angles, but it does a pretty good job on faces. The make you also comes with different types of sheets of plastic. I'm gonna try out this white sheet that takes a little bit longer to melt, but works really well on detail. All right, so we have our mold, and now we're going to make a little jelly, or jello. Let's put all this into our container. And we need around a half of a pint. That's about a half. Of boiling water. And then we'll just mix it up. Now we'll just pour it on into the mold, now that it's nice and cool. All right, so I let these molds sit in the fridge overnight, but I probably should have used a spray oil on this because they might stick inside on this plastic. Oh, man. Yeah, they are. 
Well, it's like a dead rose. But it tastes okay. Pretty similar. Oh, let's try the head. Ooh, that turned out a little better. Okay, now it's time for chocolate. I'm doing this in a double broiler. And I wanna make sure that it's kinda of liquid. But I wanna cool this chocolate slowly. I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm gonna add a couple other pieces. Just to cool it down and bring it to temperature. My spatula handle broke. So that's why I'm using this. I'm using a bowl to hold the face mold flat so that the chocolate pours evenly. I also remembered to give it a spray of some sunflower oil. And now out comes that chocolate rain. Chocolate rain. Did you know that chocolate, tomatoes, potatoes, and gum are all native to Peru. Just a little interesting fact for you. The key to making chocolate shine and have a nice snap is to let it cool slowly over a long period of time. I let these come down to room temperature naturally and then chilled them very slowly. I'm just using Cadbury's regular milk chocolate and I wanna make sure to hit all the bubbles that have formed underneath to the top so I'm tapping underneath to make sure that everything rises. Okay, I just took these out of the fridge for a couple hours and let's see if they pop out better than the jelly molds. Oh yeah, that actually looks really nice. Nice shine on it and everything. Sweet. Let's try this guy. Cool. Turned out pretty clean. Best part of the job. Well, this little form box turned out okay. I hope you like this project. These are some really cool things that the form boxes can do. If you're interested in Make You, check them out online. And let's end with a quote. that it's even.